welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final installation of my gift guide videos. I have previously filmed a gift guide for her and a gift guide for him and today I'm going to be doing gift guide stocking fillers. So if you want to see some suggestions of what I would recommend for stocking fillers then just keep watching and if you have yet to see the gift guide for him and for her then I'll leave them listed below for you. So let me just explain that this is my little list of ideas that I came up with last night sat watching TV. Christmas movies and I was getting very excited for Christmas so I was so excited to film this video. I've got um, quite a few ideas for stocking fillers. So this is my living room lounge area where I've got it all set up with candles burning, a few fairy lights, my faux fur rug here so it's all very cosy at the minute and perfect for this time of the year when it's getting a bit cold and I've also got a big bowl of chocolates there as well so I am quite guilty of picking as I go, thinking oh, it's just one chocolate, no, oh, it's just one chocolate, just another one, and it's going to catch up to me, I know. But I just like having some chocolates available to hand, you know, and it's Christmas, so why not? I also just wanted to mention this cute little festive jumper that I've got here. It says, Dear Santa, I can explain, which I thought was quite fun. It's quite minimal and simple in design, which you know I love. I'm not like massive fan of lots of colour and different patterns and prints which I know at Christmas um, is fine for like a Christmas jumper but I actually thought this was quite subtle, quite understated and one that I can actually get quite a lot of wear out of. I'm also wearing my festive paisley print pyjama bottoms which I got from Primark maybe three years ago and some little slippers which I also got from Primark this year. Okay so the first item is a book. I thought it was quite fun to get maybe a book for somebody for your stocking. Now it can obviously be a bigger book as well for like a main gift, but just something small. Um, I actually really like this book which is Selfish by Kim Kardashian. I know that's going to be so controversial, but A, I really like the look and design of it. It did have the uh, paper cover with Kim Kardashian on the front, but I actually took that off because I like the simplicity of the design, love that font that she's used as well there. And I have this out, I have quite a few different monochrome books out, so this is also one that's just been left out, but I think it's a cute little stocking filler gift idea. Now I got this one from Urban Outfitters, I'll leave it below, I'm not sure if it's still in Urban Outfitters or not. I have to say Urban Outfitters is one of my favourite shops to shop in for stocking filler gifts. Not necessarily cheaper, but mid-range, maybe a little bit more expensive, some cheap. But they have so many good ideas for stocking fillers and fun, unique concepts, really nice things as well. So I'll leave their website below along with a few of my favourite stocking fillers and if they've still got this, I'll leave that as well. Um, but yeah, a book is my first number one gift idea for your stocking filler. Next up, I wanted to mention mugs because I think they're so cute, they're so festive, they're so cosy and warm and Essentially, a mug brings you a very warm feeling because when you're drinking a really nice maybe hot chocolate or coffee, then to have it in a nice festive mug, I mean that's not that festive, it's a little badger which I thought was quite cute and autumnal. I got that from Asda and it was £3 and then this one with a little stag on it is from Tesco's and I believe it was about 3 £3.50, something like that. So yeah, these are two of my favourite mugs at the minute that I'm loving and ones that are still in store because I've only got them recently, so go and check these out. I also would recommend going to Anthropology for mugs because I think they've got some really nice, quite high-end, high-priced mugs, but still nonetheless really nice, unique designs that um, are a bit different. Um, so yeah, Anthropology. So I think a really easy, simple idea for your stocking filler is gift cards. Now, if you're not sure especially what to buy that certain somebody, or perhaps you've got a secret Santa, maybe a works one and you've pulled the name of somebody you really don't know that well, then these are a perfect idea because especially if you have a price limit set with something like a secret Santa of five pounds, maybe 10 pounds, to get just a voucher or a gift card which you know will get used, there's no expiration date on these. These are the Starbucks and the Costa ones. And they're just something that like will get used and it just takes up no space. You can slip it in the stocking filler. Another good idea for gift card, I think, is a cinema one, which I got for Tom last year. So uh, a cinema gift card kind of encourages you to go to the cinema and actually use it and have a little date night. So that's a really good gift idea, in my opinion. 
Um, so yeah, these are just Starbucks and Costa ones. I think a staple stocking filler would be like hat scarf gloves, which is so nice, so warm, perfect for the time of the year. So I've got a couple that I want to show you that I've really been loving. These are both from Primark, both in stock at the minute. So there's this grey blanket scarf, I think it's called. It's about four or six pounds, I can't remember. And likewise, they have this grey hat in Primark, which I think is so cute. I love cosy knit beanie hats for this time of the year and I'm going to the Christmas markets in a couple of weeks with some old friends that I went to school with. So very much looking forward to that if you're watching. Hi girls! Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to wear this or if not, I will wear this one which is like a beige colour. Got it from La Sula, they kindly gifted this to me. So again, um, if I'm going for like maybe a camel coat or something, this beige one fits really nice and love it. So cute! And then this is from Primark, and it's this faux fur shawl type scarf, which, you know, doesn't really wrap around your neck or anything, but you can do if you want. But it just sits like above a jacket. Oh my god, it's so soft and so cozy. This is £10. I recently picked it up from Primark, and I'm just in love with it. So warm, so soft, and just love it. And also Primark have so many different scarves and hats and gloves to choose from so recommend checking out Primark for them or any other shop alternative for a scarf hat gloves. Another good cosy idea is something like a heat pack like this because I think it's so cosy if it's particularly cold at this time of the year you can bung this in the microwave and just cuddle it. It's so warm or of course it's good as well for aches and pains so for girls, if they have a particular hard time of the month, then these are really nice as well and just comforting and warm and just love these. You can pick these up really cheap as well. Also, TK Maxx do quite a lot um, every year pretty much of heat packs like this, but in like a cuddly toy version, like a bear or something. So um, check these out. I'll leave one similar to this and an alternative below for you. Something fun, a stocking filler that brings joy. Um, I really like this one in particular. I got it from TK Maxx last year for Tom as like a stocking filler. It's from a brand called Blacksmith. Blackout playing card, standard poker size. So it's a poker set um, of, if I open it, of two pack, packs of playing cards and some dice there as well. What I really like about these are the design. So you can see the dice there are like all black. I mean, they're called Blackout. And the cards themselves, if I can show you. So look at these cards, how smart they are. So they're completely black out, as you can see there. So the red cards look like that. Oh, I just think they're so smart. So yeah, I've got these. I actually keep these in our bowl here, just out. So if ever we want to fancy playing a game. I kind of grew up playing cards as well. Like we're a family a card playing family so whenever we're away we usually always have a pack of cards with us so I think that's a nice little stocking filler gift guide idea. Next up are candles and reed diffusers which I love I think they bring so much warmth to a house and coziness to make a house a home. Now I've been loving I've mentioned several times in these videos and I've also noticed all my friends doing it as well and you probably have too you've seen them they're the Aldi candles and rediffusers which look a little something like Jo Malone so they're definitely a more affordable alternative these ones I've got here are the lime basil and mandarin ones I've got several of these out and I've got several of these out at the minute burning they're just something that brings so much comfort and warmth to a home especially in the evening if we're sat down here watching TV I have one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven candles burning when we're watching TV. I know it's a bit excessive, but I just think it's so cosy and warm. And these are $3.99 each, so they're so affordable. I'm yet to have one run out on me, so they last a long time. And when they do run out, I've got a stockpile of them. So if you, and to be honest with you, every time I go to Aldi, I'll pick up a couple, just because if, God forbid, they ever go, go out of stock or stop supplying them, I'm going to miss these because they are so good. They smell amazing. They don't smell cheap at all. I've bought Primark candles in the past, I'm not going to lie. I do think they smell a little bit cheap. They are incredible, so definitely recommend them. A fun little gift idea, which I got for Tom last year again, is this shower speaker. So again, the design of it I love. I got this online, so I'll leave it listed below. I'm sure they'll still have them available. And I love the sleek, simple design of just black and gray. It's got an on-off button, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, 
and it's really good quality so he'll put this on when he's in the shower I'm not so bothered about music but he'll listen to music through this when he's in the shower connects it up to his phone and just puts on his favorite playlist and I can hear it from the bedroom. It's really good sound quality. For what it is, it's fairly affordable. I think I picked this up for about eight pounds, something like that. So a good little stocking gift guide idea and one that we've found very useful. Next up, I think a good stocking filler is a DVD. Now I know with Netflix and Amazon and films on TV, there's so much choice now whereby DVDs are kind of like dying out. But I love receiving a DVD. I think it's so nice to just pop one on whenever you fancy it and you've always got it there. And it's just something that you can either get like a new release on or really an old festive Christmas film, whatever it is. I like DVDs and I think they're so exciting to open. We usually each get one in our family every year. So it's, um, yeah, it's just a nice gift that I find really sentimental and really like. Um, so I've got a few to show you, I think. Stand Up is a great option. So I've got here Peter Kay, Frankie Boyle, Lee Mack, Lee Evans. We love Ricky Gervais as well. He's one of our favorite comedians to watch. So Stand Up's a really good option. Also, uh, films, obviously, The Revenant is one that I've absolutely loved watching. I've watched it a couple of times, really recommend that. Um, or of course, series. So we got bought this one last year, Peak Blinders season one, two, and three. Fourth season's about to start, can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, we love this. We got through it all so quickly because we were so obsessed with it. So um, having it on DVD, it's just there, it's easy. Um, sometimes our internet's a bit hit and miss, so when we do put on Netflix, if it buffers, it can be really frustrating. So having the DVD option there, there's no problems with that, so loved that. I've also got this, which I'm yet to watch. It's actually all sealed up still. It's Breaking Bad seasons one, two, and three. Let me know if you've seen this. Let me know if you'd recommend it because if I'm going to start it, I'm going to have to dedicate a lot of time to it because I know they're quite long episodes. I've got three full seasons to watch. Let me know if I should watch it with Tom, if it's one for both boys and girls. I'm not sure about this one, so yeah, I want to know your recommendations on that. And last but not least, I've got stationaries, notebooks, notepads, that kind of thing. So I picked up this one a while back now. It's a weekly planner from Sainsbury's. I think it was only about £3 this one. And it's something that I love because I just like to keep organised. So you can stand it up as well and it has your weekly planner essentially there. So it's really good and useful for somebody like me who perhaps plans in videos and things like that. So yes, love the marble and copper design as well. They've got different notebooks and lots of different items in this range. So that's Sainsbury's Home. Another good one to look out for is Zoella Lifestyle. I kind of got sent by this by Zoella. Well, she didn't send it herself. That would be amazing, but she didn't. A PR company did. They sent me this. I've had a look in Boots and had a look at the range and they've got some amazing things in the Zoella Lifestyle range. And then lastly, I picked up these from TK Maxx and I really liked the design of them. Tempted to keep them out somewhere on show, on display, because I love, like I say, the look and design of them. So I picked up two notebooks. They're quite thin ring binders. The pages themselves are plain. So I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing a bit of a scrapbook idea with this, which I think could be a good sentimental gift. Now, I know this isn't gonna fit in your stocking, I know that, but I just wanted to sort of show it as like a good sentimental idea for something that's fairly affordable, that you can like make yourself, and Tom loves getting sentimental gifts like this, so these could be good little photo albums or memory books where I've kept like quite a lot of tickets for events we've been to or holiday tickets where we've been away. So I could do a bit of a scrapbook with those and have them out on display to look through and flick through when you're feeling a bit sentimental. So that is everything that I am recommending in this stocking filler gift guide video. Again, if you're yet to see the gift guide for her and gift guide for him videos, I will leave them listed below along with everything that I've mentioned in this video. And of course, my social media links if you're interested in following me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I post daily over there, so especially Snapchat. I'm kind of getting into Snapchat a bit more now. Um, I also show sometimes my blog mail opening on Snapchat as well. So if that's something you're interested in, then head over there. Let me know what your plans are for Christmas this year. I know we're not in December yet, but we're nearly there. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Oh, I love Christmas. I actually love Christmas so much. Here, yeah, other than the stocking filler, no, other than the gift guide video. Um, 
I'm also wearing my festive paisley pin print pull up. <laughs> really nice things. Excuse me. For festive sort of for this time. Feels very expensive com considering it. Um, a fun little gift. A fun little both in this completely plain grey colour, obviously as you can tell. Of course, any other stocking filler gift guide, any other stocking